okay this is the next in the series for um, non degassing projects this one is going to be the rings more about preparing the blank other than the end product um, there's plenty of videos you're showing me that doing that um, this is more so just the casting part right so that's the, the molds done ready so time to get the resin ready now okay so I got the resin and that ready um, it's a total of 20 mils I'm using um, it's the amazing clear cast um, from House of Resin I'm using ocean blue um, also from the House of Resin I've got a um, little lollipop stick here and a toothpick so we'll get it first we'll get it all mixed in together Okay, so that's us back. Now these are obviously cured and that now. These are the ones, you know, I'm going to give them just a clean up so that we can uh, see nicely through them really. Um, I'm not going to be making anything out of these. But I thought the next test that we would do is we'll do another one. in a. This would be in a normal straight mould because I'm going to use this little torch this time to pop the bubbles and we'll see if we can get a clear one and um, then when that one's cured we'll clean that one up as well and we'll have a look to see if this gets rid of the bubbles Right, so we should just empty this in. Obviously, if I was doing this on a regular basis, I would make a mould that was exactly the size I needed. Right, so. We don't want to overdo it with a heat gun. Just going to give it a, a bit of a bash the bubbles up to the top a lot of these bubbles would disperse I mean you can't see into that but these bubbles are tiny tiny so a lot of these bubbles will disperse all I'm going to do is use this just to help them along Okay, it's about 10 minutes on. Um, I'm going to leave that to set now. I think there's some very, very fine bubbles still in there, even with the 
even with using this torch but what I think I need to just do now is just to leave it to set and we'll just test it out just the same I'm going to do another test I think maybe by heating the resin okay next test I'm doing is I've just heated up the um, part A not the hardener but the part A side and I'm just going to get this all mixed up and I'm going to put it into this clear container I'm not going to add wood into this I'm just going to pour it in and we'll have a look and see what it looks like after it's obviously now it's heated this is um, really quite runny compared to what it normally is so because the part A can be quite thick and this is why I'm thinking that this will help I'll add a little bit of blue dye into this just so that we've got them all virtually the same colour right I'm just going to pour this in we should put this one into this container I'm just going to leave it as it is and we'll have a look at this one when it's done okay so that's the three experiments done I don't know if you can see from this so far but I'm going to um, get it out of here and get a couple of pictures of it but there is no air bubbles let me see if we can get this out there is no air bubbles in that crystal crystal clear don't need to do anything really more to that because it's sort of proved the point that the heated heating up the resin the one half will give you totally clear jewelry so that is great news and I mean you could you could probably heat that and put it into these molds just the same because it wasn't as if it was boiling or anything it was just warmed up and um, cut this down give them a bit of a polish give these just a bit of a polish up because all I want to come back and do is show us the difference between the three where we can see it a bit better okay I've come outside because we've got the sunlight and you're able to see these bubbles a little bit better so the first two I'm going to show you I'm just polishing them on the top the first two I'm going to show you here are the ones that we did without any form of attempting to degas now they are full of little bubbles which we said and I have actually made some rings with um, the resin like that because it almost gives you like a snowstorm effect okay I'm just making sure that I've got sunlight on these so you can see right the second one that we did was when we heated it with a blowtorch and that's that one here now there is still bubbles in it and if you notice we've got bubbles at the bottom here I think that's possibly that I maybe have heated the resin up too much with a blowtorch you see that bubbles okay and lastly the one we did was when we warmed the part A side and we just then poured it straight into the container and that's that one now I don't see any bubbles in that one at all um, it's completely clear so let me show you all of them together now so we've got so that's the four so that was really very successful just heating the resin and, and I'm so glad that I actually did the test because I'd originally thought about threw it on the floor using the blowtorch when I do the resin table I thought about doing the blowtorch to um, take the bubbles out but actually that way might be a bit more complicated so I'm going to be heating the side A and then mixing it in with the side um, the hardener and then pouring it in because it's certainly I can't even see one bubble in that so that tells me that that technique works really well which means it also works really well for all of you um, and you've been able to make jewellery or paint
10 blanks because it means that if you can warm it you can warm whatever quantity of it you want so I can't see why it wouldn't work for possibly pen banks possibly box blanks of some sort I mean you won't have pressure to push it in between pine cones but making a, a, a coloured box I don't see why that wouldn't work that technique so there you go that's the results of this test so I would definitely go for warming side A and mixing with side B if you want a clear resin and if you wanting just it so it looks like a fine snowstorm if you're doing like the jewellery side of things then you just pour the resin as normal and mix as normal anyway hope that helps